Hello guys, I'm out and about. I'm out with Paul, who's another vlogger. Been out with him before a few times. Um, I'll put a link into the uh, description to his channel. He's just had it act actually, so he's got to start again. So please, if you've got a chance, go over and follow his channel. And we're out today, as you can probably see, we're by the, the water's edge. And we are at a place I've been wanting to photograph for a long, long time. We're at the beach. Uts at OC and they look phenomenal. Okay, so we got here about eight o'clock this morning. We've had a look around, knowing that the tide is in at um, around 12 o'clock. We've still got another hour or so before the tide's in completely. I don't think it's going to come up particularly far, but it's certainly going to come up enough, hopefully, for what we want for some nice arty party, long exposure shots, get rid of all the detail, fine art photography. But it's just the, the colour of these huts that really appeals to me. I love these pastel colours, they look super. Now it did predict that it was going to be overcast. It's not overcast, which is an absolute gutter. I really am gutted it's not overcast because it made it, the, um, the image a lot easier to work with. But it is what it is. We've, we've got to work with what we've got. Um, and that's it really. It's, um, we've managed to park in the campsite, which is just the caravan site, which is just beyond the wall here. We, we've asked if we can park there, they'll let us park just outside. It's a five minute walk. So we, we spent a couple hours in the calf, and now we're going to uh, just wait for that water to come in and get some images. I've got two or three images in mind. Also had the drone up and that, so uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's see what happens. Okay, so first image in the bag. What I've done is, I've come down to this one side because the water's now gone beyond the, the, uh, these beach huts. And I've, I wanted to get one single one with the water around and I'm just about managing to do that. But I also want a co collection of them as well. I am really gutted about this, this bright sunshine. I hope it goes in before we actually get the tide right in and we get some more images because I'm going to be gutted if not. It's casting, it's too harsh, the shadows are too harsh, the highlights are too, too bright, so I am going to struggle. This one's working, it's working quite well. It's just a simple, straightforward shot at the back of one of the, the Uts. Um, it looks really, really, really nice actually, um, so I'm pleased with that. So I've actually got, like I say, I've got that shot in the bag. Now then, I think I might have to get up here because I want to get another shot, maybe three. I might have to pano the shot because I've only got, I've got my 14 mil, but I can't use it as a long exposure. So what I might do is use my 24 mil and pano the shot as a long exposure. Uh, and put my 10 stop on, I've got my 10 stop uh, KNF filter on, magnetic filter, but I think I need to get up here so I can get three of the the, um, the little lots in. The colours are just phenomenal, I absolutely love the colours and I think the water's going to come in a fair old way, it looks like it's coming to where we're standing now which is fantastic because then it is going to be surrounded with water and we've still got another, oh got another three quarters of an hour yet. I was rushing around for time. <laughs> okay so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk up here, jump back up, get a little bit further back, and then if we need to do a pano, we do a pano. If not, um, I'll try and get it in one shot. Uh, uh, like, like I say, just I want three of the huts together. I think it looks superb. So what we're doing is, I know you can't, I can't quite get it in here, so just shows you how wide it is. So I'm doing a pano at the moment. What I'm trying to get is these three Three, three huts. Whether the pano works is another thing I'm not 100% sure, not confident. Uh, but it's a 30 second exposure each one and I think it's going to be about a four or five shot pano. Just can't quite get them in on the wide angle, I need a real wide angle lens. But I still think the pano is going to work. The good thing about the gear head is with these panos is I, I normally turn it three to four times depending on obviously distance and things like that and then I know every pano is overlapping exactly the same and that's the good thing about these gear heads as well another good thing about a gear 
So I think I need to get one more shot after this and then that's the pano in the bag. And then I'm definitely gonna have to get back up there. We'll just, the other thing we've got problem with, not a problem, but the other thing we've got is to contend with a sailing boat's just gone by. It's obviously just gone by, so I'm happy. Oh, it's turning. <laughs> it's just turning, or whatever you call it when they turn. Can't think what they call it now. Anyway, so we'll just let him get out of the way. And I quite like this shot, actually. I quite like it. The good thing about this bright light is it's giving it a lot of contrast on the on the building itself. So it's giving a lot of depth to the building rather than flat. And obviously we're getting a, a nice shadow in that water as well. So I've moved along again and now I'm getting three in the image but on a side view so it's sort of 45 degree to the to the ups. I really like it but and level my tripod and I'm also going to come slightly wider refocus now I'm, I'm f16 which is giving me a 30 second exposure at the moment um, yeah scoreboard error and leveled the tripod <laughs> um, in all the excitement what we've got to watch is we don't get trap down there because Paul's down there and he's getting close to the edge there but this is good what I am liking about it is is because of this bright light to the left hand side thank god it's to the left hand side but what it means is we can't shoot from that right hand side pointing left we, everything but I think that was the composition that we needed anyway to be honest well, what I'm liking about it is it is creating some lovely lovely light as we're flattening that that water that's around it so it's reflecting really nice and that looks beautiful look absolutely bloody beautiful i'm just going to try one more with it with the uts more in the middle of the image um, so we'll get that shot and then we're definitely going to be moving up to paul i'm going to get over and then get these main shots i think we might even have to shoot from up on the on this defense here looking at the water it's going to come near enough all the way up which is great it's 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 pretty pretty much perfect how i'd want it it's not too high not too low fantastic come on
Now, the water's right up to the, the, the wall to the defence. Um, so I've come up on top and I've just come over the, there's like a nice little seating bit. <laughs> so I've sat down, I've gone IO, ISO 50 F16, which was giving me um, a 15th of a second exposure. So with the ND filter on, with the 10 stop, it's now giving me a minute exposure, which I really like. So we've on ball mode, remote, minute's gone. Timing it on my phone. I'm going to take another shot just round the corner here. And I'm going to do exactly the same shot. Um, but without any huts in at all. And the only reason why I'm doing it is, it is if I need it just to blend things in, blend the water in or anything like that. That's all I'm going to need it for. And if I just go into that corner, it's just looking into the, the vastness of the, this estuary. And uh, hopefully I can use some of that, if needs be, in this image here. And I'm going to do that in a minute. Probably get another couple from out. I love the colours out of reflecting on the water here. They look absolutely bloody beautiful. I am going to do a more... Um, just going to get in a little bit tighter. Not get them all, but just get... I love the colours on that, the end of here, from, from the white to the grey, the yellow, the mustard. Look beautiful for them, look that light. I just love the pastel colours. And I might even try and go even further round. But we'll see, we'll see. We'll just check that. Oh, I'm happy. I am one happy chappy. That is looking pretty spectacular. Right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go and run up there get that other exposure so I've got it in the bag I haven't got to worry about it and then I'm going to try a few more different images here and at least I've got that I could have used that on probably every image then probably ish or on, certainly on a lot of them with this sort of angle I'm facing so I'm, I'm gonna, just going to go up there um, get that image and I'll see you again in a minute okay, got that shot come back and I'm go just going to try this shot again from here because we have got a blanket of cloud now, and um, I think that light is going to help. It's not quite as harsh. So I think it's really going to help with the image. We'll test my Photoshop skills, I'm sure. <laughs> the good thing about from here is, from the third foot in, we can't see in between. So the only hard bit of editing is really in between these two huts. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, 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 just, just photographing the the hot slot. I thought it might be seals No, 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 just the hot It's more landscape we've into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They're yeah. taking away the... You know, yeah, they had the concrete platforms, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, yeah. I noticed some on them. Um, I think they've been repainted, they look a bit... Uh, I don't know, I don't... No, because I think they've actually plastic, haven't they? I think they're that... Yeah, yeah. Um, they've probably just been cleaned, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Are they occupied, do you know? I don't know, I don't know. It's the first yeah. time I've been here, to be honest. I've it's just I've travelled through. It's Bamber, isn't it? You know, I don't the, know. The murderer. Oh, right. The White House. Oh, is he? TV. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, he used to, he used to own all this. Oh, Apparently, right. he had those built to finance his next appeal or something. Ah. I've got a friend who lives in Maud, he's down in Devon now, but he, he knew all the history. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So what you see there, there's more to it than you think. <laughs> Absolutely. It's always, uh, a, it's always, always the same, yeah, definitely. There's always a story behind yeah, it, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what a story that is. Yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe there was a seal coming up. No, no. <laughs> see ya. How interesting is that? <laughs> okay, at the minute, I'm loving the sky. I'm loving the composition, loving the exposure. The exposure is just how I want it to be. Got a little bit of detail in the sky, but not too much. Um, this, the, the clouds are not moving at all, really. I mean, I've done a minute exposure. You can hardly see any sort of movement in there. Um, we have got a little bit of a breeze, which is a shame, but the water's nice and flat enough, I think, to, um, to get something. Uh, but my fingers are cold. I might try and do a two minute exposure, maybe I ought to just try and do, let, I'm going to have a look at the water to see what I think.
you know what? I'm happy at that. I'm happy at that. That's okay. Okay, I think I'm going to move and try and get a different composition. Oh, my hands are going cold. It's, the tide's starting to recede now, so I've come back down again. So I do like it from this lower perspective. I really do like it. And I love the light, the sun's starting to come back out again, which I'm a little bit gutted about, to be honest. But it does look beautiful along there. What I've had to do is, for now, is not photograph this last one. I'm not getting them all in, but I'm not too bothered. Actually, I could actually get them all in now because I can walk backwards. So I'll, I'll try one with all of them in again. And then again, I'm just going to work my way back back down. But I do I do like how the, the light's catching these here. It looks absolutely stunning. Probably got another 15, 20 minutes of taking some images. And then I think, honestly think, it's game over. So let me try and get just one or two more. So I'm just shooting these five at the end now. I'm trying to keep it in odd numbers. I was going to do six and I'm thinking, no, it just doesn't work as well. Ah. So I've come to this one where it's five. And, and I, love, I love the colours on the end of these ones. I love them colours, I love them pastel colours, like I've been saying. I'll just put there. Um, yeah, I like it. That's what I'm trying to capture then, five. What's pretty much as you've seen it on the back of this camera, but obviously on the other one. Yeah. But don't they look beautiful? What I can't do is a sweeping pano because the light's too bright on one side of the image, so I can't do the pano. So if that pano worked earlier, Fingers crossed, that was the only opportunity I got to get in the panel. Now the sun's coming round, I can't do that panel. A little bit gutted, but never mind. Could potentially be the last image. The strange thing is as well, the wind's dropped again. So with that high tide, it went windy. As soon as that, the tide started to recede, that wind's gone. I'm sure it's something to do with it. Well, that's my dad. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.